I am I'm privileged in uh, being the first uh, Muslim one in the Balkans and of Greece, of course. Um, I have been trying a lot and for many years to get it. It took me seven years to pass the exam. Uh, but uh, it was difficult and that's why I, I wanted to do it. Um, if it was easy, no one would like to do it or wouldn't mean a thing. But I have to say that from um, 2002 when I got my MW and thereafter, um, it, it has been uh, a, a crazy life but a very enjoyable life. Uh, getting the MW changed a lot the way um, people were approaching me opened enormous opportunities for me and um, my career was never the same. I'm, I'm delighted to, to, to be a part of this. I think that the um, Greek wine market and Bulgarian market have uh, a lot of common things. Um, so it, it, it feels like home, I mean, it doesn't feel really different. Uh, it's the same story, more and more people are interested about wine. For the majority of people, wine is just another alcoholic beverage. Uh, some people are uh, willing to pay for wine, some people are not. Some people are um, dealing with wine because wine is uh, um, in vogue. So they would look important and they would look uh, high class while uh, they would love to enjoy a beer in the privacy of their house. Um, so it's, uh, it's everything, more or less, like what we see in Greece. What I see here, I think, is that um, people a number of people are getting into the wine as a part of the gastronomic experience. So it's not just about wine, it's about food and wine and going out into a nice restaurant and enjoying both a good bottle of wine and a nice um, course, uh, nice, nice food. Um, and for me this is, this is good because I think that people can relate to that uh, easier. Uh, very few people can say, oh, I'm a wine aficionado and I'll be uh, thinking about wine, drinking um, wine just on its own, uh, reading about wine. This is a bit unnatural. Wine is a beverage to be consumed mainly with food and if people get close to wine as a part of, a, as I said, gastronomic experience, it's only a good thing. I think that Bulgarian people know more things about Greek wines than uh, Greek people know about Bulgarian wines. Uh, this is mainly because uh, a huge number of uh, Bulgarian people are uh, uh, traveling to Greece for their summer holidays. So they will drink Greek wine, they will enjoy Greek wine while in Greece. Um, I don't think that uh, Greece has uh, um, touch the potential. There is still a lot of development that can take place in the Bulgarian market and uh, um, I think that in the near future more and more Greek wineries will be willing to invest in, uh, in promoting their wines in, uh, in Bulgaria. This is something that it's very common, like, uh, you know, um, Greek wine being the worst enemy of itself. I think that this is, this is the case in many um, old world countries that made um, uh, huge steps ahead, but then they were not communicating these changes um, uh, in the correct way. So. Oh, you start talking about Greek wines and everyone thinks about Retsina. You start talking about Bulgarian wines and everyone thinks about um, three euros uh, Merlot sold in supermarket in Germany. Uh, you talk about Hungary, and you know Hungary had a very important, has a very important appellation, Tokai. You know, one of the best and most expensive wines in the world. 
and still most of the people will think about uh, bull's blood again sold in supermarkets for four euros or three euros a bottle. So uh, this is a problem with many, many people, many countries, and it is, it is down to us to go out and reach out these consumers. I think it's um, all about heritage, and it's all about potential that can be lost at any, any given point. Um, you go to Santorini and you think, and you talk to old people, and um, uh, they say that uh, a century ago people were coming up with about 80 different grape varieties from in Santorini, and then now uh, people in Santorini talk about three or four or five grape varieties. Um, we know that. Uh, there is a plant of that variety in that vineyard in Santorini, or maybe there is a very small vineyard of uh, 20 plants from the other grape variety in Santorini. Uh, some people believe that maybe if we go and search every single plant in Santorini, we might come up with maybe 40 grape varieties. What happened to the rest? and uh, how good the rest could be. And this is all gone. This is uh, never going to come back. You know, there could be one great variety out of the 40 lost that could be twice as good as Assetico, uh, four times as good as Riesling. So why lost it? some great Mavrudis in, um, in Bulgaria. Um, I think I am a bit more excited about Melnik. But then uh, it's down to the producers and it's about finding out whether what we know of Mavrudi now is the best Mavrudi that can be. As I explained um, um, in the master class, you had Sabatiano and everyone was looking down to Sabatiano saying it's a bad grape because mainly it was associated with low quality Retsina and because no one was paying any attention to making good quality Sabatiano and then you have five people taking a closer look making things in a whole different way and making fantastic wines. If we think that all the people drinking wine out there are people that would like to spend uh, two hours talking about the um, rare grape varieties, I think we are missing the point. Uh, most people drink wine as a simple product um, and it's very difficult to, to condemn these people. Uh, and. Um, say that only the people that have a high involvement with wine have a right to drink wine. So yes, we have some people getting tired of the Cabernets and the murders around the world and getting to more interesting, uh, rare, rare varieties, but still I do believe that uh, Cabernet and Chardonnay is uh, a big part of the global wine trade. the idea of the Balkan International Wine Competition is um, like that we are uh, a, a lot of different countries, uh, a lot of things in common, one of which is the huge diversity within the wines produced. Um, therefore, I think that it's a great opportunity to try to promote this on a larger scale and, you know, the United we stand. I was very happy to organize the first ever official visit of the Institute of the Masters of Wine in Greece. Um, the interprofessional 
um, vine and wine organization in Greece um, helped a lot, not a lot, did the whole thing because there were money that could be used to promote Greek wines um, in export markets and that was made um, uh, possible also with the valuable help of the Greek export organization. The Greek, uh, the trip went amazing. Uh, BMWs loved Greek wines, loved Greek people, loved Greece and uh, I don't see uh, a reason for not making this event as a turning point into uh, how people love their view Greek wines. You should do the same thing in Bulgaria.